When the travelling school for Queensland show children lost its funding in this week's budget, the reaction from many was that it only impacted a small number of families. The school is in Adelaide on the show circuit. Reporter Caroline Winter visited show families there. <laughs> When the show comes to town, so too do a number of show families. And while the adults are hard at work entertaining the crowds, their children are getting an education. It's inside these mobile classrooms that they can enjoy a little bit of normality in what is otherwise an unorthodox world. Is this this person here? No. No? Jan and Rob Irwin are the latest teachers to join the Queensland School for Travelling Show Children. For the past 18 months, they've become part of the mobile town of show families that crisscross the country for nine months of the year. While class sizes, ages and those who attend vary from day to day or week to week, those on the front line are in no doubt it's a brilliant resource for the children. They do enjoy having a school, they enjoy the feeling that it's their school. It is a very big issue before when they would travel and just go into different schools that they never felt like they had something that was theirs. So I think it's a really, really important facility in that way. Cousins Tasman and Talem Pickett have been attending the travelling show school for five years. It fills in the education they miss when they're not at their usual school in Melbourne. We spend about two months in total there. We spend about a month before we go away and then a month when we get back. The Travelling Show School was established 12 years ago. Before that, show children either learned through distance education, correspondence or were sent to boarding school at a young age. They do have an option of an education and can stay at home a lot longer and the parents can continue this lifestyle and know that their children are going to have better options. When I was a child, I'm three generations in show business, and when I was a child my family unit had to break up so that we could have an education. When I was married to my husband and with my first child getting to school age, I was really worried what was going to happen because there was no option for being able to educate children on, as we were travelling on the showground. Julie Shane says she was lucky that all her children were able to go through the travelling show school. She says when her and other show families found out on Wednesday that the Queensland Government had cut the school's funding completely, it was like the rug had been pulled out from under them. And I've seen so many tears. We feel so devastated as a community that we've worked so hard to get to this point and now we're going backwards so quickly, like it's just being stripped away. We have had no, no consultation whatsoever to know that this was actually going to happen. So everyone is really in shock that um, this is happening and it's happening so quickly. The Queensland Government says the show children will be offered distance education instead. They work with lots of working families on farms and properties. I've been to see distance education. They've got a passionate headmaster and I know they'll be able to do a great job, which is very different to how it was for many of these parents 20 or 15 years ago when they were finding the materials were a bit difficult to comprehend. He says the children will get a better education than they do currently. But show parents say the whole reason the travelling show school was set up was because distance education isn't a viable option. They say most of their time is spent trying to run their businesses and they're not well equipped to manage their children's education. To deliver a, a, a basic education for a child, you have to spend several hours a day. And we also have the fact that the academic levels of a lot of the parents, they are not qualified to be able to give the best or even basic education to their children. My school education went to year six, grade six, not year six, grade six. So I did first form through correspondence and after that I was able to work, so I stopped doing school and started working. And my husband, he did hardly any school, you know, he, he has trouble reading. So these are real, real issues to us. Kathleen Miller currently has two children in the travelling show school. She says while her and her husband had a very basic education thanks to the school, her older children have been able to go on to further study. 
She's now worried about what the future holds for her family if her youngest can't get a decent education on the road. Separation is nearly the only option. And if you split a, a married couple up, you get the same result. They split up. You know, it's families being dissipated. They break apart. Children, you, you talk to teenagers. I, I've had all the kids coming into my office in the last few days, and they're heartbroken because some of these teenagers were sent to school at six years old, seven years old. One of the kids quoted nine years old. You know, you, I, I challenge any parent to look in the eye of their little child and say, now you, because you, I want you to have an education, have to live away from me and your, and your father and your lifestyle and everything and be there because that's important. It's very important, but why does it have to break our family up? Caroline Winter reporting.